Hello everyone, my name is Alfredo Hayag. I am the Principal Technical Product Specialist here at Peregrine Connect. And in this demonstration, we will show you how to use the testing function within FlightPath. Start off by opening Neuron. Click on File, New and then Repository. Then click on Data Mapper and launch FlightPath. Select your source and target schemas for your data mapping task. Then map your source and target schemas within the mapping interface by dragging and dropping. Look for the Testing Mode button. This button is located in the toolbar. Click on it to enter testing mode. When you enter testing mode, the testing mode icon turns green. In testing mode, you need to provide sample data to test your data mapping logic. You can do this while in testing mode. Just enter values into the source fields as they would appear in real data. This data should cover various scenarios and edge cases to ensure your mapping logic is robust. After configuring the test data, find the start button, click on it to run your test, the data mapping tool will apply your mapping logic to test the data and generate results based on your mapping rules. Once the testing is complete, you will see the results in the interface. Just click on the edit icon. Check for any errors or unexpected outcomes. If you run into any issues or errors in the results, return to the mapping logic to identify it and correct the problem. You can usually click on specific mapping functions or transformations to review their details and make adjustments as needed. Repeat the testing process with the updated mapping logic until you achieve the desired results. Once you are satisfied with the results and confident in your mapping logic exit testing mode, look for the stop button, which is located next to the testing mode button. The interface will return to its regular mapping mode. There is also a testing function to test the overall mapping within FlightPath. Click on the play button at the top right of the screen and select your imported document. Then after selecting the document, click on Transform. Don't forget to save your mapping project after testing. We finally reached the end of our demonstration. I hope that we were able to convey the richness and ease of use built into the Data Mapper. Watch our series videos on the Data Mapper, which guides you on how to use the features we discussed today in various mapping scenarios which you may encounter in your integration journey. We work with our customers and partners each day to get the insight we need to provide you with a better experience. Integration shouldn't be hard. That's why we built Peregrine Connect. An evaluation version of Peregrine Connect's suite of applications can be downloaded from our website as www.peregrineconnect.com. We look forward to hearing from you.